Hey, thanks for checking out the episode of Vinyl Village Garage. This episode, working on the 68 Firebird Convertible, but currently has no floor in it. Uh, working on getting where I can put the one-piece floor pan back into this car. The inner rocker panel, particularly the passenger side, was a lot rougher than I thought it was. The driver's side needs a little patch, but not a big issue. But they don't make inner rocker panels for convertibles for first-gen F body. So doing some homework, doing some research, didn't learn a whole lot. So I'm doing a bit of an experiment and I wanted to share it with you. I want to show you how to make a coupe work for convertible and it's looking pretty good. So check it out. Well, first off, I've actually got the passenger side kind of mocked up. I'll, I'm going to take it back off and show you how I made that work. But I wanted you to kind of see what it's looking like going in. Because if you look here, the ledge is relatively small from the edge where it's bent to here. In the middle, particularly where the seat belt mounts up, is only about, oh, let's say about a half inch. The replacement rocker panel I have here on the back of the car, as you can see, that's nearly an inch and a half. So that's the difference between a coupe and a convertible is the spacing of the top pinch well. That's the biggest obvious difference. So we have to overcome that obstacle. Not overly complicated, but I'll show you how I did it here in a minute, but just to kind of see how this looks installed or well, at least mocked up. I haven't welded it in yet. It's actually working out pretty good. And I'll show you how I did that. If you look at the driver's side, again, only about a half inch lip here. Uh, that's what I'm trying to match or make the passenger side look like. Like I said, they do not make this inner panel you have to buy the entire assembly well i've installed those before but that's a lot more work you got to cut the whole door jam apart remove a lot of the inner rocker uh sorry the inner quarter panel bracing for the window and cut most of the quarter skin off the outside i don't want to do that on this car i'm trying to just get it back to where good solid driver quality and a floor that you don't fall through when you sit in the car so i'm gonna pull this panel back off and i'll show you how i prepped it to make it work all right, I got this panel removed off of there now. You can see inside the rocker panel, really quite rusty and not so nice looking. But unfortunately, that's how they are from the factory. They don't paint those. They don't do anything. It's bare steel. And even your replacement rocker panels you buy to put in your car, guess what? They're bare steel also. I had one I cut apart for a Transmitter Auto project because they put the skin on the outside wrong. So I had to drill it out and shift it. Once I got it apart, kind of find out the entire thing is bare steel. So FYI, if you have any rocker panels that you bought complete, and you can find a way to get inside there, paint it, and coat it. I plan on treating this rust with some uh, oh, chemicals and oh maybe some POR15 to slow the rust down and get some more life out of it. But again, I don't want to replace the entire rockers because, well, it, this turns into a whole overhaul. And this car, I'm not doing that with this car. I just want to get it back up to going again. Um, so with that all being said, the idea was this is the factory inner rocker piece that I cut out most of the way. But I left the pinch weld in place, and this is the part that it ties to. The only thing I did was right here used to be, actually I'll show you on the driver's side. It looked like this. This is the inner piece we just talked about. It had a 90 degree shelf and come straight down. I took the cutoff wheel, cut it perfectly flat on the inside here. So when you look back to this side, up inside here, you will see the height is the same side as the rocker. The idea is when I cut that 90 degree off of this panel, this will actually slide underneath here. You can actually see where I put some screws. I actually put the screw through the rocker panel here into this rocker panel, pulled it up, and only left about a half inch ledge. So by the time it's installed, it looks right. Now I was going to weld it full length across the top, and that'll make it look factory and hold up and be the same. Then on the bottom, you just do your factory plug welds across the bottom, and I'll drill it out and clamp it on the bottom there. And I'll actually look and remove the same as factory. The only thing I'm using for kind of cheating is I'm gonna use the screws here to pull that up tight underneath here before I weld it to keep the gap you know, relatively small or none so it'll weld real nice. So I guess what I'm saying to make a coupe, this is an uncut one, rocker panel work in a convertible, you literally just have to cut this top ledge here 
off. Um, cut all the way to the end of it. And when you get to the front side of it, you gotta get a little creative, but then kind of follow this line here, like I did on this one. I notched it a little bit, but then it'll actually lay up in place like it's supposed to. I'll get this put back in, I'll show you how it looks, but uh, I think it's gonna work really good. All right, now, what I've done, I just got one pair of ice grips on here, so it's not necessarily exact right where it needs to go, but you get the idea. This original panel is nearly two inches wide. It's clear back into here right now. What I've done, of course, I put a screw through here. It'll actually, you see the gap, yeah, about uh, not quite a quarter inch, three sixteenths of an inch or so. It'll pull that up tight right underneath this. I can just lay a nice weld right across the whole top of that, and it's going to pull it up pretty good. And it holds true all the way back here to the back. Um, I'll pull this up into place. Uh, same thing, and I'll actually then, this will be the same height as that. And then we'll go ahead and weld that complete. And then across the bottom, just do your normal plug welds uh, across here. And it'll clamp up and look up real nice. I'll show you underneath, underneath here too. And when you get to the front, how I cut this out, it actually follows the contour like the factory one. It just has a nice clean edge, and then they just welded it right here. And then same thing, then this gets welded to the floor pan, the tow board, so that's gonna pull it pretty good. And when we're all done, this is actually getting pretty close to the gap here. We'll just clamp that together to pull the rest away. And then the floor pan then sits right on top of this, gets welded, tucks in between these two panels, and this gets clamped shut. It'll pull shut. So that's the plan. I think it's gonna work pretty good. I'm gonna climb down under the car and you'll see the pinch weld here when I'm all done. This is the outer rocker or outer skin. And this is the piece I'm installing right now, the inner piece. It actually needs a nice tight gap. And it's, I can massage or change the height of it, but it's right on the same height. So again, like I said, the convertible and coupe rockers, well, they're the same height. So I think it's gonna work out all right. We just come back through now and drill some holes, put some plug welds in here, and we should be good to go. Well, now you've seen the top and the bottom. Next tip is I'll take this panel back out and clean all the EDP coating off of this full length of the rocker panel. That way I can come back and weld it and weld it real nice and clean. Then while this is out, go ahead and paint the inside of the rocker panel. So that's gonna be the next tip. But I guess to say the goal for this video eh, was to show you how to make a coupe inner rocker panel work for a convertible. Well, that's gonna do it for this time around. I guess we did answer the question, does a coupe inner rocker panel for a first gen F body work for a convertible? Sure, very minimal modification and it went right in there. Plus it's only $45, so gotta love that part. A complete convertible rocker panel is about 300 bucks plus probably gouge for $100 for shipping. Um, or the option is you buy a $45 rocker panel, spend about five minutes cutting that top 90 degree bend off it, fitting it in here and welding it into place. So um, nobody makes an inner rocker panel for a convertible yet. I'm not sure why, obviously the stamps are there, to make them, but they don't sell them individual pieces. Now, I know this is a critical part of the car, it's part of the frame, but I'm gonna tell you right now, your high dollar restoration, if it still has the factory 50 year old rockers and the car spent any time on the road, it's probably rusty and falling apart on the inside, but you just don't know because it hasn't rusted through yet. So, where do you draw the line when it comes to rust? I guess it's kind of a personal opinion. I have built cars where I don't stop until I completely cut all the rust out. By the time you do that on a car like this, you end up replacing 90% of the sheet metal. Not the goal with this car. This car, just want to get it back up to solid, good driving condition. Like I said, you probably have an original car. It's 50-year-old Rocky pa rocker panels that probably aren't much better than these ones. Um, but you don't know. But that's the plan here. Make it good and solid. Not spend a whole lot of money. Have some fun doing it. Share the videos with you. Maybe give you some knowledge or insight and on your project and help you move along on yours. So appreciate you following us. Um, of course, a big, huge thanks to all the current subscribers. I'm growing pretty good. I'd like to think I'm doing all right. Of course, any feedback, something you'd like to see or something you might want to know, I might have the answer. Hit me up in the messages. Let me know. Uh, I've got a lot more videos yet to do on this car and this progress. Uh, and of course, if uh, you want to watch that, you know, hit the subscribe button, follow along, share with your friends. And of course, I like, and you hit the like button, let's know I'm doing a good job too. Um, again, like I said, this uh, camera stuff, it's new to me, building cars, uh, doing it probably 20 years. So love doing this. want to share the journey with you guys. And of course, I get cool videos I can watch and I'm old and senile in a nursing home and I'm getting old and I can check out what I used to do. That was the big goal of this channel originally, but don't tell anybody. 
Um, anyway, I'm going to get back to it, do some painting next, seal up this rust and slow it down and put it to a halt. And then well, I'll start working on the driver's side. Like I said, I may I do about the back half, back third of that one, depending on how rusty it is. But if I have to, I got the entire rocker panel. I can modify it just the same and work out great. So that's going to do it. Um, I'm going to get back to it. And in the next video, you'll see some more of the uh, floor pan patching. But the goal of this video is just say, yep, you can make a cheap in a rocker panel for a first gen F body. So that's gonna do this time around and we'll see you next time.